Hi, welcome to the channel. About a year ago, I did a video on how to solve a false paper jam. I turned on my printer recently and I got another false paper jam. And I said, well, I thought I fixed that. Well, apparently there's an, another type of false paper jam you might be getting. And um, you can see here on the screen that there is another false paper jam. So I attempted to fix it again but uh, I discovered that there was something different about this type of paper jam. So what I'll do is I'll take it apart. Uh, this is the right side of the printer. So what I do is I have to take off the panel that's on the right side of the printer. And by the right side, I mean the side where if you look at the front diagnostic panel, you touch on the right side. Um, the right side of that uh, printer uh, there is a panel that you can pop off as you can see I use a screwdriver not using these tabs but I use uh, my screwdriver to go underneath the actual panel itself uh, using the tabs may break off so I take off the panel and right there on that side is where I can go in and um, find the gears. Now here are the gears what happens is that that mechanism goes in and out. That axle turns right there, a uh, black gear in that uh, mechanism. But the axle turns, but the black gear does not. And the black gear is supposed to connect with the white gear here and make it turn. And that white gear will turn and allow your carriage return to go in and out. Now I'm going to attempt to uh, remove the triangular piece here with the gear that spins on his axis, uh, the one that's supposed to turn the white gear. So all that you do is just pull it out. Uh, it might have even fallen out already because um, mine had already fallen out uh, because it was just spinning on his axis and it just slipped out. So I'm going to take this apart. Now this is the mechanism which I pulled apart and you can see uh, how it's made. Um, it goes in like that and um, inside is the stripped gear uh, from where the axis was so I can just take it apart like that and I'll show you the gear and where it's broken so it takes a little bit of effort to kind of open it up carefully because it's on with a few clips you can see there's a clip there and take it apart and um, it's a little tricky to take it out but uh, even before I took it out the gear would just fall out so that's the gear right there uh, as I said um, it's a 15 T 15 teeth uh, clutch gear for HB printers so the problem with this gear once I expected it is if you can see there's a small hairline crack it's uh, it's hard to see it but because there is a crack, the axis just spins inside um, that gear. It doesn't grip on to the ax axle and it doesn't turn. And that's the gear that needs to turn to spin the white gear that pulls out your carriage, the print carriage. So that will definitely need to be replaced. I tried gluing this together again, but it's a quite difficult it, the glue wouldn't hold and uh, it's it there's a lot of stress so it, and I think also inside it was already stripped out quite a while so I bought these these are from Amazon the links uh, my affiliate links to these gears you get five in a bunch uh, will be in my description okay so I have the old gear which is right here I'm just gonna put it aside and then I have the new gear here, which I've shown you in the five pack. So what I want to do first is reassemble this mechanism. And you put this right through here. So you can see right there. And you put this clip back on. There we go. And then make sure that gear is not sliding in there so I put the screwdriver in to make sure it's aligned with the hole I'm just gonna put this down right here this is the way it's gonna go in now what happens is that 
this white gear, it moves uh, a locking mechanism inside and also keeps the carriage locked to the one side. So sometimes it goes off calibration because as this gear was trying to move this back and forth and not spinning this and as this falls off, it spins it a little bit so it's off calibration. So I determined already before that it should be furthest to the left, this white gear, to make sure that's a great starting point. Just calibrating that gear to be in the far left. So now, just put this in like this, making sure that this gear is going through the hole. So I'm gonna just put it in now. Putting it in the right way. Yeah, this is the right way. Just gonna push that in. Make sure that goes in that way. Making sure that this goes through the hole and that new gear is in place. Now you have to kind of push it in a little bit so that the gear will go through the shaft. It's a little tricky, but you have to press it in really tight. You can see it's going in there, and it's good it's tight so that uh, so that it goes in there properly, and it won't slip and slide and will come out. So I'm gonna push it in more as best you can as far as in as you can. I think it's uh, as good as it can be. So we can do a final test by turning it on and off. Now we turn it back on. The gear here now will, will not slip. And then we'll turn this carriage return locking mechanism gear right here. And it should work. Let's see how that works. Press OK and see how that works. OK, so that didn't work. I have to push it in a little bit further, maybe. Maybe that works. Actually, I think it worked. And I think it worked. As you can see, where there was a paper jam error before, there is no paper jam error anymore. Now, you want to know if it's actually corrected. And if you want to determine that, you need to open up the printer. So I'm just going to open up the printer. And you can see right there, the carriage comes out. There's no real carriage jam. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Everything seems to be fine if you close it. 
If you open it up. Carriage goes back. Goes in line. You can see here. Let the gear start turning. doesn't want to go in anymore. I would like to go in further, but it doesn't do that. If you close it, that's fine. You can see the drive mechanism work now. The gear here is not slipping. It's turning the white gear, which is an indication that the carriage is going back and forth properly. So well, these are it. So you can buy these on Amazon. I have the link in the comments section or the description section. And uh, it just comes like this, five in a bubble wrap. Now I have four. And uh, basically you would just replace it here. And as I said, the link will be in the uh, description. And uh, I'll also put it on screen. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching the video. And what you do after that, of course, is put this cover back on. Nice and easy. Just press it in, snaps into place, and you're all set. And I say it's a thumbs up for that. If you like the video, please like it. Give me a thumbs up. And if this helped you quite a bit, please subscribe to the video. Uh, I work hard to get these videos by some parts, so... I really appreciate your subscription and like. Thank you very much.